Hey folks, this is another LEGO Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom set. It's called T-Rex Transport, and the name is very descriptive and fully covers what the set is all about. Now, LEGO previously did a Jurassic World T-Rex Transport rig in 2015 for the first movie, but that one was based off basically the uh, Triceratops transport vehicle from the Dino theme from back in 2012. And it was just a completely made up vehicle, which was pretty cool, but I feel like this is more relatable to kids. Having something that's just a little bit more believable with you know, a semi-realistic, semi-truck cab segment here, and then a large trailer on the back. And you see this is not able to rotate around fully. It starts to pinch the exhaust uh, stacks here, the mufflers and exhaust pipes. But, I don't know, this just feels yeah, more believable to me. Plus, if you don't want to be pulling along a dinosaur, well, you can use this trailer for other cargo. You can also just detach this and use it as a semi-rig for pulling other things along. The truck is an eight stud wide build, plus a little bit because of the extending wheels. Looks like a little bit of a classic Mac design to me, which is pretty cool. Looks very rugged, although it is you know, very oversized compared to the normal scale for Lego stuff. And it's fairly simplistic in its design. Even though it is so big, it only holds a single figure in, in the cab area. But I don't know, I kind of like it. I think that a lot of kids would like it. It's a very solid build. There's very little open space inside of it, very little hollow space. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a straightforward thing. It uses a handful of relatively recent pieces. I like it. As simple as it is, I mean, it almost looks like a Junior's thing from a distance or possibly something rather old, like from 2012 or even before, but I, I just can't stop liking it as a toy. The trailer has a stand that can come down, so it can just stand on its own. That's fairly level. I very much like the inclusion of the new, very generic, very plain color for the corrugated steel style panel pieces there. Previously, we've mostly gotten them in more interesting colors, and I actually like getting them in, in just a gray because it can be used for so many different things. This has just a couple stickers used on the sides for some of those or a couple of those those center panels these are printed pieces here and i think there's also one sticker on the back yeah just for the the license plate down there this has some exposed technic stuff and you know you can see the the blue pins but it's close enough to the color scheme that this is supposed to have that none of those things really bother me now as far as what this can do you have these old pieces old Bionicle Borok eye pieces that turn down. Those are locks, and then you can just bring down a side, and you can also rotate this down basically to the ground. Yeah, there we go. It just touches right there at the the tip point, um, and that's that. You know, you can do the same thing on the other side, and uh, the idea is that I guess this could be used supposedly as a trap or uh, i don't know you have to use your imagination a little bit for that just because it, it doesn't look like something that a t-rex would want to climb up into i don't think they were big climbers i think that they would go all around this on their own so not the not the best play pattern setup here where you really need to to make your animal take a big leap up into this to get into it they, they didn't set it up this time where this whole box section can be removed from the trailer frame and just set up on its own. That's that's all one single uh, assembly there. I just wanted you to, to understand exactly what this is and, and how it's done. So basically it's sides down like this or sides up. Those are really your only options. And this will hold pretty much any dinosaur that Lego has ever made except for the, the very largest made up ones that they've done. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and look at that T-Rex. This is a brand new color scheme for the existing T-Rex mold set, with the colors being tan and medium nougat, or medium dark flesh. And once again, as usual, we put a lot of print on here, a lot of paint applications to give it some texture. The head looks really good to me. The shaping is really nice. The, the prints are really nice. 
But otherwise, there's nothing new to be seen here. Uh, if you're not familiar with this large mold set for this dinosaur, it has a tail that can be rotated around 360 degrees. Doesn't do too much, but gives you just a little bit of change with the angle there. The legs go up and down. You can't really put it into a walking pose on the ground unless you put it on a studded surface. These feet do have anti-studs and they are set up to to attach to a large plate or base plate. Got the two little arms in the front. They can hold on to something the size of a bar. And the head is done very well because you can angle all the way down. Go up quite a bit, which works well for this kind of pose. And it'll also rotate. That's very cool. Yeah, no matter how you set that up, it just allows for some really nice posing. And the mouth has just two click points, so it's either fully open or fully closed, but you can kind of get it to stick in between, so you can get that half, half open kind of look. It's not officially supposed to work that way, but you can make it work. And there's a little bit more print and paint application to be seen on the top. Got some studs on the top where you can attach things, and that's just that. It's not bad. The set also comes with this portable medical station, they call it. There's not really a good place on the truck or the trailer to place this, but you can just kind of put it inside of the trailer when there's no dyno in there. And it folds open. And at first, I thought that these were supposed to represent the, the pads, the conductors, for like a giant dyno defibrillator. But this is actually supposed to be used for doing an emergency field blood transfusion. So you might need, I mean, there's, there's probably some scenario that will show up in the movie, but the idea is that you would hook up one of these small paddles here to one dinosaur and then one to another. And presumably, you know, you go from an adult to a child or, you know, from a healthy adult that has been tranquilized to a... Uh, an injured you know animal that you're trying to save and that's just that that's a print excuse me that's a sticker right there has a printed keyboard and basically it's just on off lights to let you know if the pump is working and yeah that's that here are the three human minifigures in the set on the left is zia rodriguez and i think that figure looks great period just everything about it the choice of hairpiece the print for the face there, the print for the torso, the dual molded legs, the white stripes going around the boots there. It's just all good. I like that. Uh, it does have a female specific torso, but they didn't go extreme with the proportions and the waistline. So if you want to use that on a custom figure that is male, it's not a preposterous idea. And then the other two figures are just generic guards. So they do not have any specific names, but one thing of, of interest and note here is the middle guy who has the stud shooter in metallic silver. That's a cool color for that. Looks really good. Look forward to seeing that being used in some other sets. I appreciate the diversity of figures here for the sake of actual diversity, because not everyone in the world is the same. Who cares about political correctness? I just like to have different options for how to put together little toy people. The two torsos on the right are the same. And let me show you one more thing. A full face. Middle guy has a mouth too. Did I save the best thing for last? I think I saved the best thing for last. Another baby dino. This is the sand green one that is printed to look like the Velociraptor blue. I don't know if it's specifically supposed to be blue. Mm, probably not. Maybe not. Probably not. But whatever, it's supposed to be very cute. Very nice prints on this as well. Looks like there's some consistency of uh, the placement of the dark blue on the face. It's just a little bit low on this side. It's registered a little bit better on this side, but no big deal. Very small thing and very cute. The way LEGO sets are developed revolves around budgets. So they get a certain number of sets for a certain theme that's coming up for a certain release wave. And then within those, they break them up into like a $10 set, $20 set, $30 set, stuff like that. So this had a certain budget for it. And I feel like all this stuff over here was just 
kind of leftover extra budget that they had available after designing the truck to kind of the, the desired level of quality and play value. The price to part ratio for this is shockingly low in in my view compared to other vehicle sets and just other sets that Lego has done in the past that feature such a large animal compared to the size of everything else. So I think we actually get a really good deal here, just relatively speaking. Uh, I feel like these these animals are, are very expensive, but then when I look at other toys, uh, other toy animals with similar articulation or something close to that, uh, in terms of quality and all, can be very expensive as well. So I think LEGO actually has done a good thing with the budget on this one, and the prices seem to be within a reasonable range around the world, so I have no real complaints here. It is a little bit simple. This doesn't work out that well for me personally. I love the figures. The T-Rex is great to get. Getting a baby dinosaur in there is also good. Uh, would have been nice if they offered slightly better options for getting the the dino into the trailer. Would have been nice to have a little bit more detail in the cab. The ability to put two figures in there, not really necessary. It's little stuff that could have been done better, but overall I feel like this is a good toy that's appropriately priced relative to the market. And this is the type of thing that would definitely outlast the movie, you know? Big dinosaur, truck to carry it around, not a lot in the way of uh, of logos. As a matter of fact, there weren't any Jurassic World specific logos on this at all. So, yeah, after everybody forgets about the Jurassic World franchise, um, this continues to be just a good truck and dino set. Those are my thoughts. Feel free to share your own thoughts in a comment if you'd like to, and I'll keep working and bringing you more videos. Talk to you soon.